Well, we're now just more than a week into the framework deal with Iran over its nuclear program. But Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is already critical of any progress made. He says Iran's pursuit of a nuclear weapon is really only pushed back by six weeks. In the meantime, the president, President Obama, is threatening to veto any new sanctions against Iran while this process is taking place. Joining us now, former U.S. ambassador to the U.N., John Bolton, also a Fox News contributor. So, Ambassador, let's just take a moment and just talk about where we are right now with Iran. What's actually happening inside Iran when it comes to this nuclear deal that we have forged for the next six months? Well, essentially, in terms of the nuclear aspect of the deal, very little has changed inside Iran. And, and that's why Prime Minister Netanyahu estimates that the total impact on Iran's nuclear weapons program is simply to push it back six weeks. I, I've seen estimates by nonpartisan observers that push it back four weeks. And it's what does that mean, by the way, if it's four weeks away from what? Well, from enriching enough uranium uh, to produce a weapon and thereby produce it. To, all that Iran really agreed to when you strip away the rhetoric is not to go ahead of where they are now. Uh, and that's why they believe it's a big victory. They're not dismantling any of the infrastructure of their nuclear weapons program. Because I think that some of the images that we may get simply by the way that this is discussed by different politicians, what we're seeing on our screen is some of the tools that one can use to enrich uranium. They're not actually pulling out this equipment and dismantling it the way that we might imagine. No, and in fact, because of the vagueness of some of the terms of the agreement, which is not entirely public yet while we're on the subject, uh, Iran has made it clear they intend to continue to do research and development work on more advanced generations of centrifuges so that uh, if they decide at some point to begin production of those, that their enrichment capacity will be miles ahead of what it is today. So they could actually be farther ahead after this agreement than they are and this now. is this is a pattern iran has followed before when hassan rouhani the new president was their chief nuclear negotiator in 2002 2003 that's what iran did they agreed to a temporary hold of some activities because they were having difficulties then they started again when it suited them let me just play a little sound from the president last night during the state of the union because he had a short statement about iran but significant here's what the president had to say if John F. Kennedy and Ronald Reagan could negotiate with the Soviet Union, then surely a strong and confident America can negotiate with less powerful adversaries today. Sanctions that we put in place help make this opportunity possible. But let me be clear. If this Congress sends me a new sanctions bill now that threatens to derail these talks, I will veto it. For the sake of our national security, we must give diplomacy a chance to succeed. Your reaction to that statement? I think it's almost simple-minded. You know, we've had diplomacy with Iran for over 10 years, indirectly at first through the European Union, and Iran has consistently demonstrated during that entire period that it uses diplomacy to its advantage. It's a complete non sequitur to say, well, we negotiated with Russia, the circumstances are different, uh, the reality that we face is different. So you can't compare the two. The comparison is uh, uh, Apples work. and oranges. Yeah. Ambassador, great to see you as always. Thanks.